Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy, Sumped, back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we're taking a look at the new Legend Vivi that has released over here on the Japanese side of the game alongside the new Legend Reiju. And just having a bit of a discussion about what this particular unit can do, as well as taking her into all of the Garbs challenges. That is Revolutionary Army 1, Whitebeard, as well as the Worst Generation. So this particular unit, in my opinion, is absolutely busted like the things that this chick can do are absolutely insane she's such a strong unit and i really really enjoy running strength free spirit now as they've kind of slipped under the radar since the release of verse ace or even like luffy sanji before that free spirit strength has become very very strong we've also all sort of glanced over it as the powerhouse quick driven meta was kind of like the focal point but now we've got the release of stuff like vivi now we've got the release of stuff like toki and uh strength can do some absolutely wild things namely strength free spirit but we're just gonna have a quick talk about what this unit does and then we're gonna hop into some content and actually explain it a little bit more so Vivi is a Cerebral Free Spirit, two of the best classes in the game, as well as being a Strength Unit, one of the best colors in the entire game, which is absolutely absurd to me. She, her Captain Ability boosts Strength Cerebral's Free Spirits by 5 times flat rate, absolutely amazing, 1.2 times HP, and also reduces 10 turns of Special Seal on the crew. So, Utility Captain, 5 times Captain, 3 of the best... Um, categories in the game. Cerebral, Free Spirit, and Strength. Absolutely absurd. Her special for three turn boosts the strength orbs of Strength, Cerebral, and Free Spirit characters by 2.25. Would change all orbs, including block, into matching, and for one turn locks those orbs. When an orb boost is already active, however, she will extend that orb boost by two turns and add 0.25 to the orb boost. This special is busted one of the best specials in the entire game not only giving you a three turn orb boost for 2.25 which is nothing to scoff at but she also gives you a full board of orbs and locks them now because she's a free spirit unit you can use stuff like hybriding with like roger and you can get away around the whole blow away the debuffs mechanic and the stuff you can do with this is just absolutely insane now Free Spirit Strength units particularly have a lot of good orb boosters already. You've got stuff like Luffy Zoro, you've got stuff like Verse Ace, you've got stuff like Toki. But what this chick can actually do is she can actually extend those orb boosts by two turns and add 0.25. You've also got characters like Odin which do very, very good orb boosts. You've got the Wano orb mechanic. So what you can do with this VV is just absolutely insane. And I'm really, really keen to see how she goes in the future. Her super type condition is you just need six Cerebral or Free Spirit characters on the team, which is very easy to do. And for one turn, she will boost attack of Strength, Cerebral, and Free Spirit characters by two times, which is absolutely absurd. Getting an attack boost with her super typing, orbs with her special, extending the orb buff if you're using something like Verse Ace, if you're using Ace Sabo, if you're using Odin, Luffy Zoro. There's so many good orb boosters where you can extend this orb boost and make your team so... Or hit so damn strong. Toki, you can then turn into a 3.75. I just love this unit, man. She's so much fun. She does have a Sailor ability. Plus 75 HP attack and recovery to Cerebral and Free Spirit units. And when she'll, uh, when she's a crew member, she treats quick orbs as beneficial. So she's a very good crew member as well. And you can easily use her under Raju or you can use Raju under her. It works really, really nicely. She does have a very good support that goes on any Cerebral character. And if they use an, a special to change orbs... For one turn, boost the orbs of Cerebral characters by 1.75. So, you can easily put this on Raiju, turn the poison slots into matching orbs, get the orb boost, the attack boost with Raiju, and it just works so damn nicely. Her limit breaks is the tap timing orb block, five turns on herself, which kind of sucks. She has pinch healing when 50% or lower by 1.5 her recovery. And then she has the orb seal, completely removing orb seal on herself, which is so good. So, in my opinion, at the moment, I do think she's better than the Raiju. But I do think that Raju is probably going to age a little bit nicer. Raju is a lot better in my opinion in Rumble though. In Rumble, I do have a showcase coming out for both of these units. But the VV does 1.5 times her attack to all enemies. 50% chance to inflict special seal in a large range. And level 7 attack up to strength allies. So she's all based around strength uh, attack for strength units. Her Pirate Rumble ability will give level 5 speed up from the start of the battle. For the first 40 seconds, will give level 5 cooldown as well. So, she's a pretty good unit. She's immune to special seal as well as 30% uh, reduction from dex damage in Rumble. But her main focal point is actually just using her in regular play. But that's enough about the character. We're going to sort of talk about a few things in the actual runs. And with that said, let's hop into the... Alright, so we're starting over here at Revolutionary Army 1. So, this is the team. These are the supports. You know the drill. Let's dive in. So, as I was saying in the intro... 
strength-free spirit has just become absolutely absurd. The thing about when, well, when Versa Kainu first came out, everyone was going on about the quick driven powerhouse meta and how strong it was. Well, now we're getting such a resurgence of these strength-free spirit units that the strength-free spirit sort of team has just become absolutely absurd. And it's just funny how they sort of result revolve that around Versa Kainu and Versa Ace. With the release of stuff like Toki, with the release of Vivi, and with the release of... Um, there's another unit that I'm forgetting. I cannot remember off the top of my head. Alright, so we're starting over here at Revolutionary Army 1. So this is the team, these are the supports. You guys know the drill. Let's dive in. So with the release of VV, Strength Free Spirit has just become absolutely absurd. With VV's Captain Ability boosting Strength Free Spirit and Cerebrals, I do think she has one of the best Captain Abilities in the entire game. Namely because not only she has Utility, she removes Special Blind by 10 turns, very similar to Shanks Crew, but she also boosts two of the best classes in the game and one of the best color in the game. Now, to get her super typing, you do need to build the team around Cerebrals and Free Spirits, which really isn't that hard, as when Versa Kainu and Versa Ace came out, everyone was talking about the release of all these crazy driven powerhouse characters and all these uh, quick powerhouse units, quick driven units that are just so good for Versa Kainu. Versa Ace, in my opinion, especially because they're quite new over there on Global, Versa Ace, in my opinion, is just way more fun and way it's just a way better unit, in my opinion. Mainly because Strength Free Spirit and the Free Spirit class itself has just become incredibly broken, incredibly busted. With the release of stuff like Toki and this new Vivi, Verse Ace has so much support that you can not only get like a very good attack boost with Luffy Sanji, you got very good orb boost with uh, Verse Ace, you've got utility with the captain ability of Ace or Vivi, whichever one you want to use. Now, as you guys will see on this particular stage, I actually stuffed up here. And I was meant to use the Toki special on the previous turn, so that way I didn't have to worry about the blind. But I said, screw it, I'm just going to use it on my captains, and that way I don't have to worry about the despair. And this is the power of Toki. This is what Toki can do. Normally, these four girls will actually give us all despair, but Toki makes us immune to basically all status effects. And because we put it on our captains, it means that we can just get rid of that despair easy peasy. We can then switch with Luffy Sanji, remove the rest of the blind. Bob's your uncle, we're going to do a lot of damage now. So we're going to use the A special, literally just to board wipe and then take out Robin on the very first turn. And it just works really, really nicely. With VV super typing as well being a attack boost, she is literally, the way I like to describe her is if Shanks crew and... Uh, B2 Snake Man had a baby. This is what the unit would look like. Now, I do understand it's not a rainbow captain like Shanks crew. Very similar to Luffy being a rainbow unit. You do need to still build the team around Cerebral, Free Spirit, and Strength characters. But there is so many good Cerebrals. There is so many good Free Spirit characters in the game. And then if you really want to, you can just throw on any Strength unit. But just to name a few good subs, you do have the units that you do see on screen here. You've also got Sabo Koala, you've also got Mihawk Perona, you've got Shanks Crew, you've got, uh, normally you'd have V1, VV Rebecca, and V2, but obviously VV takes that spot with the name. But if you're running a hybrid team, that is definitely an option for you guys as well. You also have options like, um, uh, Luffy Sanji, as well as all of the really good strength characters. You've got Verse Kaido, you've got the Sweet Generals, um, there's just, there's just so many options for Vivi, and in my opinion, like, she is hands down one of the best characters in the entire game. She can give it two times attack boost with her super typing. She is a 2.25 times orb booster. She rotates every single orb. The only orb she doesn't rotate is obviously Semla, Rainbow, Wano, and the new poison slots. But other than that, she's always going to give you a full board of orbs. Oh, and Super Bomb. Um, she's always going to give you a full board of orbs. She's always going to give you that uh, orb boost. And if you already have an orb boost, say you're using the Toki special or you're using the Ace special to give you an orb boost ready, you can then use the VV special to turn Togi's orb boost into a 3.75 orb boost, as well as extending it for two turns. So the stuff that this chick can do is absolutely wild, and I do understand that Strength has a lot of orb boosters already, the Free Spirit class has a lot of orb boosters already, but the fact that she has that extra built into her kit Makes her a much more viable unit, in my opinion, than Raiju at the moment. Now, I do believe Raiju will age better, depending on the content that comes out. But with Vivi, she is just pure power, and she just has so much support going for her that she can easily just wipe content like this. But that was Revolution Army 1. Let's move on to Wipe It now. I'm going to keep talking about Vivi for a little bit. 
All right, so moving on to Whitebeard now. This is the team. These are the supports. Just, again, you guys know the drill. Let's jump in. So, as I was talking about with um, Vivi, she just has so much built into her own kit that building the team for Vivi is very, very easy. Not only does Free Spirit and Cerebral have just a plethora of units to choose from, but because Vivi is your designate, designated orb booster and attack booster, you can just build the team with utility, build the team with an orb boost, uh, sorry, with a chain locker, you can build the team with some conditional boosts, uh, or you can build the team with some other sort of like utility in mind. Now, I am showcasing like Verse Ace as well as Toki on this particular team in every single run. I do think the core of um, Verse Ace or the combination of Verse Ace as well as VV works really, really nicely. And you don't have to run double VV. You could easily run Ace as your captain and then bring a friend VV. I am looking at doing the Kid Forest with that particular build. I have beaten it. I'm just trying to like finesse it, I guess is the best way to put it. But I really enjoy using Toki on her team as well. Toki's an amazing unit when you know what the content is doing. Toki makes you immune, as you guys saw in the Revolution Army 1, makes you immune to two, for two units for all status debuffs. Now, that includes Despair, Bind, Paralysis, Blow Away, Stun, anything that would directly affects that character and not the whole team, like Attack Down or anything like that, Toki is actually going to make you immune from. Not only is she going to do that for two turns, but she's going to then give a 3.5 attack and 3.5 orb boost. And then if you use the VV special after that, you can not only extend that orb boost to, for three turns, you can actually add 0.25, so it becomes 3.75. 3 you have the attack boost from Toki for those two units, and then you get a full board of orbs through basically every type of slot besides those five mentions uh, sockets previously. But another beautiful thing is is because you extend that orb boost, you can actually carry that into the next stage, provided the enemy doesn't blow away your buffs. But there is a little character called Roger that is a free spirit unit. So he's another really good option to, to hybrid up Vivi with, as Vivi's a three-time orb booster, and she can do some crazy things. Mentioning Roger, though, there's another, there's another unit that came out with Roger named Odin. Now, if you guys don't know what Odin does, Odin actually rotates all matching orbs into uh, Wano orbs, Vivi not only will rotate orbs into matching, which then you can manipulate with the Wano slots, but she also locks them, very similar to Roger. So if you are using like Odin on her team, you can get a full board of Wano orbs. You can get a 2.75 times orb boost for two turns, uh, for four turns with her, ex her extending it. And you can just do some absolutely absurd things. Now, I do understand that, like I said, strength and free spirits have a lot of orb boosts already. And I do get that. But the fact she has that little bit extra sort of uh, in her kit just makes her way more viable, in my opinion. And people like to compare her to Reiju. In my opinion, she's way better than Reiju. Like, way better than Reiju at the moment. She's way better than Reiju at the moment. Reiju's better in PvP. Way better in PvP. Uh, I do have a showcase for both these guys coming out in PvP as well, which was a lot of fun. But uh, strength just kind of... Um, it, it's... Well, with my strength team, it's just not exactly where it needs to be. Now, as you guys saw there... The Toki special, getting that 3.5 attack and 3.5 orbs is absolutely bonkers. And you do just absolutely destroy the Marco Vista stage with literally just two units, as long as you can remove that attack down. Now that we're at the final stage, we're basically just going to say goodbye to Ace and, and Whitebeard. We're going to move on to the final Garb Challenge against the worst generation. And I will talk about that one, just because I do think that one is a little bit harder. But another good thing about Toki, she can actually use Odin as a support, which is so wild to me. Being able to get a Wano slot on Toki and a 3.5 times a orb, if you choose Toki, that is. 3.5 attack, 3.5 orbs, or 3.75, extending that. You just, the shenanigans you can do with this particular team is just so much fun. It's ridiculously fun. And... It is high, low key, become my favorite color. So I was my favorite color, but now I think strength is creeping up on it. But that was Whitebeard. Let's move on to the final Garbs Challenge now against the Worst Generation. All right, and the final Garbs Challenge is against the Worst Generation. So this is the team. These are the supports. Let's dive in. Apologies about the speed of that. But if you need to go back, just pause the video if you do want to try this team. Now, this team works amazingly well, like ridiculously well. But there is one thing that I would change. Uh, if you are trying this team, you need to just swap Usohachi and Verse Ace. Ideally, you want to have your two good captains or options for captains in the middle. You could probably put um, Luffy Zoro there, but I wanted to have Luffy Zoro at the bottom because when you use the Toki special, you actually give the bottom characters a 3.5 times attack and orb boost as you make them immune to blow away. And that way you have access to a dex unit with Zoro. So Luffy Zoro was a great unit for this particular team. They give an orb boost, which again, another free spirit character can give an orb boost, but with... Um, Vivi, you can actually turn their Orbis into a three times Orbis, which is pretty nuts. A three times Orbis and a three times um, 
chain lock for three turns of an orb boost, which is pretty wild to me. But the um, Garb Challenge, worst generation in my opinion, or in everyone's opinion, I imagine, is the hardest of the Garb Challenges. So I am going to talk about this one a little bit, but I pretty much said all I, all I need to say about Vivi. I think she's an amazing unit, very, very strong. Cerebral Free Spirit just gets even stronger, and Strength is now creeping to be the best color in the entire game. But on stage three, we come up against Bonnie. We come up against Apu and Beige. Now, on this stage, you can actually use the Verse A special if you want to. I actually didn't use it for the entire run, and it, it would just make you just decimate this particular stage. We already decimated anyway, but um, it, it definitely will make it a lot quicker for you guys. On this stage, they give you right-hand side um, recovery and left-hand side bomb orbs. And if you eat recovery orbs, they actually do damage with to you. It's a new mechanic that came out around Arena Me Mihawk, but um, it's very prevalent in this particular golf challenge for nine turns, I think it is. So you are going to be stuck with that for a little while. So just be mindful. Don't eat any meat orbs. Otherwise, you will take damage, but it's not the end of the world. On to the next stage against you, Rogue. He actually has a new mechanic as well. He only lets us do 500,000 damage in a turn and only lets us use two specials. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Verse ability of Ace. What that actually does is it gives us the burn mechanic at the at the start of his turn, which means we can actually cheese this um, stage as you rogue can only take 500,000, then a million, then 1.5 mil, then 2 million damage. But with Ace's burn, that actually triggers at the start of the enemy's turn, which actually means that you actually could do more damage to your rogue and actually take him out before the 2 million mark. Because we actually take him out before the 2 million mark, it means that we actually don't get the normal attacks only, which is really, really cool. I actually really enjoy that. And cheesing it with Versa Kainu and Versa Ace is just a lot of fun to me. It's, it's so much fun. But as soon as we hit the 1.5 mil, we're actually going to use a VV special here. The reason we're going to use a VV special is we get a full board of orbs and we actually lock those orbs. The reason we want to do that is when we move into the next stage against Zoro and Killer, we can't actually rotate our orbs. And then when we move into the next stage against Blackbeard, he gives us that orb lock mechanic. So what we're going to do on this particular stage, we're going to switch into our Zoro. That way we have color affinity against Zoro himself. We can remove the threshold that they apply with our Usohachi special. And then what we can actually do here is we can use one of the super typings of our VVs. That way we've got the 2.25 orbs, we've got the two times attack, and we can actually take out this particular stage with just three units. Remember that, or if you have the character finished, you should have um, max barrier pen on your ace. That way you can get through the barrier on killer and take out Zora with the Zora special. That way you're killing your, sorry, attack. That way you're keeping at least three orbs. I got quite lucky here and managed to get a full board of orbs. But when we go into this stage against Blackbeard, he does a HP cut, gives us 11 turns of recovery blind, as well as giving us the three great orb lock, which means that we can't change our orbs unless we hit three grades. We're going to use the VV special here to give ourselves an orb boost on this particular stage. And then we are pretty much just going to take out Blackbeard. Before we do that, we are going to use the Toki special on our bottom two units, as when we move into the next stage against... Um, what's his name? When we move into the next stage against um, the worst generation, they actually blow away our bottom row. With the super typing of VV, we can easily take out Blackbeard here, no issues whatsoever. And because we're immune to all status effects on our bottom row, we actually don't have to worry about the blow away effect. We do, however, get our captain swapped. Law is going to switch our captain with any of the units in our middle row, and that's why I would recommend putting Verse Ace in the middle. That way, you either get Verse Ace or you get Toki as your captain. Because we used the Toki special on the previous turn, we're going to have our bottom units hitting for 3.5 times attack, 3.5 times orbs, as well as getting a color affinity buff for our strength units as Toki becomes the captain. Because Toki becomes the captain, uh, because we have an attack boost, uh, I think it's like anyone using a special activates the, the um, super typing, which is really, really nice, giving us a two times color affinity buff for our strength units. With that, we can absolutely decimate lore. We're going to hit on with our... Zoro last, so we can actually take out Luffy as well. We have a chain lock with the Luffy Zoro special. And uh, with that, Bob's your uncle. You're pretty much good to go. If you don't take out this stage in one turn, do not stress whatsoever. Because uh, you basically have another turn to take out Luffy after that. But easy peasy, right? So that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the little VV mini case. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to go down there and belt the like button for me. If you're new to the channel, hit the big red subscribe button too. But guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.